Hey everybody, what's going on? Mr. Tony of the Dead here, and I have another movie review for everybody out there. This one's on a movie called The Girl in the Crawl Space. This is from ITN Distribution and Mill Creek Entertainment, and it's directed by John Oak Dalton. Movie follows Jill, and Jill was held prisoner by this serial killer, and he held her prisoner in the crawl space. And now she got out, and now she's just kind of trying to you know, cope with everyday life and trying to get back to normal. So she starts seeing this psychiatrist and her name is Kristen. And Kristen's husband, Johnny, wants to use Jill's story as the basis of his new script. But in doing so, he opens up a whole nother door to other problems that could endanger all of them. Movie came out in 2018, but it's being released now by Mill Creek Entertainment 2020. And this uh, Jill is being played by Aaron R. Ryan. If you watched my reviews for a long time, you know I'm a big, big fan of Aaron. I think she's fantastic. Also, jo Joni Durian's in this, and John Hambrick is in this as well. Uh, like they're the main characters, and you know I always like them because they're in uh, a lot of Henrik Kuto's movies, and Henrik Kuto is a producer on this as well. And um, you know so. It's always nice to see Aaron and Joni and John together. Um, to be honest, I'm kind of sick of seeing uh, Joni. I'm going to say their, you know, their actual names. Joni and John being a couple in the movie. I don't know if they are in real life, but it seems like I see them every movie they're in together. They're together, and it works, I guess, because you know they seem like a couple, but. I kind of wish that they weren't sometimes. <laughs> this time they were kind of a couple who were kind of like a little rocky in here because her husband, Joni's husband, well, John, who was actually Johnny, uh, he um, had like a, a drug habit and everything, so he's trying to stay clean, and she's a psychiatrist. So she moved back to this her old town in Indiana, and uh, it's like kind of like farmland in the middle of nowhere and uh so she's there's i think this this like big horrific thing happened with all these kids going missing in the town so like the parents need somebody to talk to so she volunteered to you know open up this place in her own hometown and you know help everybody out you know she wants to give back to the community and in this whole mess jill is kind of just wandering around uh sleeping outside and uh, she says, they're like, you know, you can sleep in the house if you want. She's like, I never want to have anything over top of my head again. Something like that, she says, which I can understand. I feel like you're in a crawl space for as long as, they don't say exactly how long, but as long as she was in a crawl space, you definitely want to, you know, be more open. You know, um, she was in that little space and, you know, I guess just afraid of being trapped again. And that's why she just wants to be outside. You know, she's going to risk, um, you know, sleeping outside. And the thing is, the serial killer never got caught. And, you know, so that's scary too and dangerous. Because knowing who she is and the serial killer is still out there, she can get nabbed. But, you know, that's how it is. But, uh, you know, to be honest, I thought the movie was okay. I think it's a it's a very slow burn there's a lot of build-up uh, towards, obviously, the very end, which, um, without saying anything to ruin it, I kind of figured out most of it, you know. Uh, but, again, I always liked seeing Aaron in, in, in these movies. I think she's a fantastic actress. I think Joan is very good, too. John is good. This is, I probably would say, John uh, Hambrick's probably is my his best performance, I think. Uh, and not saying his other ones are bad, just this one's the best one, I think. And I think this is probably one of Joni's best ones, too. And I'll I tell you, Joni looked absolutely beautiful in this movie. Absolutely gorgeous. And uh, Aaron looked, you know, great as well. But she was, you know, she kind of like played like the plain Jill. And, uh, you know, just kind of like, you know, something's off with her. And then if you watch the movie, there's other things going on in her head. One thing I would have liked more is to actually see more of the crawl space. Uh, you see flashbacks to the crawl space, like her getting fed and her like listening to the TV and all that. But 
I don't know, I kind of thought this was going to be, she is in a crawl space, and then, you know, you see that for a little while, and then she gets out, and whatever, but it's not that, so, uh, but I would have liked to have seen more of the crawl space, and I think, I think Aaron did a great job of playing like this, like, really disturbed kind of girl who was, you know, held prisoner for so long, and that, and just trying to get back, uh, she was in, she was a screenwriter, or, or you know, she wrote fan fiction, and, uh, she played with, like, this, like, it's supposed to be like a Dungeons and Dragons kind of, kind of thing. I can't remember what they called it, but I don't understand any of that. I don't know how to play any of that. So everything they're saying is like over my head. One thing though, there was no captions on this, which I didn't really honestly honestly expect there to be, but there wasn't any. So the volume was good at times, but there were some times where it was a little too low or like they weren't too clear with the line that I didn't understand what they were saying a lot. Like when they were sitting around this like Dungeons and Dragons kind of thing and they were announcing each other's like names in the game and that. Like I couldn't really understand what they were saying. Uh, like, like not really. I don't know. I don't know. It could just be the audio and that. But I don't know. I thought it looked good. And it was, uh, it's a DVD. I don't know if there's a Blu-ray anywhere or anything. But, uh, you know, I, I like the DVD uh, picture of it. I thought it looked good to be honest. Um, I thought it was shot well too. When I saw the name John Oak Dalton I thought of Scarecrow County which is another movie he did and I blind bought that and this isn't a review on that or anything but to be honest I couldn't get through it. I just like was not enjoying it at all and I I didn't so I have to still finish it. I didn't give it a chance I guess but uh, I got like so far into it and I'm just like I, I, this is boring I don't want to watch it. So when I saw his name on this I thought Oh boy, you know, I hope uh I hope this isn't like that one. And I made it through this whole one no problem. I actually watched it before bed. Sometimes I watch half a movie before bed and run to watch the other half the next day, but I finished this one. It's only seventy seven minutes, like I said, but um you know, it had people in it that I like and I didn't find it boring. It was a slow burn, like I say. Uh I don't feel like I you overused that term because I th in a way, another another way I say like slow burn is like it's a boring movie. But if it's a boring movie, I will just say it's boring. But I think this one just it's a, it's slow. It's a slow burn, but it's an okay slow burn because um, you know you're learning more about her. You're hearing more about her character, what happened, and everybody else is developing around it too. And you know, so again, I think the movie's okay. I don't. I honestly don't know if everybody's gonna love it. Um, would I watch it again? Maybe down the road I would. You know, I would probably I, I might watch it again, but I I didn't have the urge obviously to put it right in afterwards and watch it again or anything. So now watching this, um, I it's obvious to me that John Oak Dalton, um, J O D, that Jod, <laughs> is getting better, and uh, I want to see his next one now you know because it went I went from not finishing in one of his movies to watching this and finishing it and and you know liking it and so now just hopefully you know just gets better from there um, but you know I still say everybody should check this out you know support the independent artists and you know support independent films and that give them a chance that's why I think with all my reviews like you know just because I might not like it or if I might say it's just okay or eh, I wouldn't watch it again you know I still think everybody should just at least give it a chance get your own opinion on it I'm just telling you my opinion and my opinion was it's just okay and this one is this disc here um, is region A and there's nothing special. I don't even have the, the DVD in here to be honest, but it just it just like you know is a normal DVD. But uh, and then on the back you have this. It's a nice looking back to be honest. Like it's doesn't give anything away, and they're nice uh, stills and everything. But uh, yeah, there's no special features on here at all. It's just the movie. And uh, oh no, actually I'm wrong. There's the movie, and I think the trailer, and then commentary. So, I'm, I lied. There is actually that, but there is no captions, which I would have liked. But I understand, I believe 
captions can be expensive from what I've been told so that probably has something to do with it but I I, um, I would have rather seen captions than the trailer but I'm sure the trailer is way cheaper to put on than than captions but you know me I always watch with the captions and it would have been nice to have them in this because sometimes I couldn't understand it um, but it wasn't like the whole movie like that just saying certain times I it was hard to hear um, but yeah I, I'd say you know, give it a chance again I only thought it was okay but give it a chance get your own opinion on it and um, you know thanks for everybody for watching give this video a thumbs up hit the subscribe button follow me on any one of the social media links in the description box below if you're interested in this I'll put a link below where you can go and purchase it also I'll put the trailer below in the description box but like I always say proceed with caution there may be spoilers well that's it everybody thanks for watching I'll talk to you later bye